In this video we're going to talk about fixing red eye, but what happens when red eye isn't red. Uh, a lot of your um, picture editing software comes with a red eye tool that um, easily fixes red eye, but what happens when it's green? A lot of it doesn't, uh, doesn't work very well on that, so we're going to go through fixing that. And this would kind of apply to anything that um, is along these same lines. We're going to cover a few things just like masking off a small area and then adjusting the color. So we'll get into that right now. Now I'm in Corel Draw and we're going to have to fix this in Corel Paint but we're going to we're going to do the editing that way rather than take and uh, just load a picture in. So I'm going to click on this. Um, this is from the last video that I just did. Um, we've got Bumper here and he's got green eye instead of red eye. And so we've got this in a power clip and um, you can right click and break this power clip apart or edit the power clip or in I'm using X6 and it's got a little tool down here that allows me to break that apart or um, so we can do some editing so we're gonna select the image itself and then we'll go up and click on edit bitmap and that will bring up our Corel paint and allow us to make this change okay I'm gonna go ahead and maximize that so we can see it and I'm gonna zoom in here on his eye and as you can see um, it's there's really nothing wrong with it other than just the color of it and normally we could come over here and we could get the red eye removal tool and we could rub that over that and that would fix it but as you can see that does nothing because it's meant to fix it if it's red so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here and we're gonna get our mask tool and we're gonna come down to the brush mask and um, I'll go ahead and make that about like that and then we'll just paint on a mask and our goal here is just paint an area that covers just the green part here and we can go out into that black a little bit that's not going to hurt anything and um, so I'm just holding down the left mouse button and painting that on there just like that now what that's done is that's just selected just this area and, and any um, corrections I make or modifications in this case we're going to do some adjustments to the um, color of it will only affect what's inside that mask. Everything outside of here will not be affected. Um, that's kind of the way the mask works. If you Sometimes you'll see the mask, not just the little um, dancing ants there, but you'll also see the mask overlay, which kind of shows us what is selected and what isn't selected. Everything out here will not be affected. Everything inside here will be. So if you need to add to that mask, there was a little bit of pink in there that wasn't masked, you can just hold down the shift key and it will just keep adding to the mask after you've let up. So we're going to go ahead just hold down that shift key and make a few little modifications here. Now we'll go in here and we're going to go just a little bit deeper down in here so we can get a little bit of that black showing just like that. Because our goal here is to get the pupil of his eye back to black. Now we don't want to make it solid black. That's going to look a little bit silly. We just need to get the color out of it and leave that reflection on it. That reflection is going to be very important to make it look natural and to make it look shiny. Now from here it's actually a pretty simple process. Once we get just the area selected that we want to uh, modify, we just go up to adjust and since we're just turning this black, we're just going to select desaturate. And What that does is takes the color out of it basically makes this into black and shades of gray all the way to white. So now that we've got it desaturated, it's still not going to look right. It looks pretty gray. We'll just come up here and we'll go to the brightness. And as you can see, this was normal. We're going to take it down. We could take it down here till it was solid black and that's going to look a little silly. We want to leave a little bit of gray in there and it's kind of up to you where you want to put that. I'm going to leave it right there. You can see there's a little bit of really dark gray here. Our highlights from the uh, natural light source or the flash, maybe in this case I guess since we had the red eye that was green, um, leave those in there and we'll just click OK. Once that's done we can go up and remove the mask and that doesn't actually look too bad. There's a little bit of green up in there that we could, we could fix. Um, zoom out, that actually looks fairly natural because you still have those little um, shine to it. Them little marks give it a little bit of shine. Um, in this case I don't think we'd have any trouble. If you really wanted to fix that green area you could go up in here and we could use another tool here maybe like the um, the effects tool and do a little smear and just move a little bit of that just to kind of get rid of that a little bit 
and again it's going to be so small in there I don't think we're going to have to worry about it. his eye looks much more natural now uh, from there we would just click save we would close our Corel paint come back to here it's automatically updated uh, down here our end editing and we've got a very nice looking eye compared to what we started with and so that's how you fix red eye when it's not red so hopefully that helps everybody and we'll see you in the next video